Okay, my name is Moises Ruiz. I grew up in Mexico and uh, I, I grew up going to church and my dad always, uh, he wanted to see at least one of his children in full-time ministry. So the Lord opened the door for me to be able to uh, go to Emmanuel Bible College all the way from Mexico City. It was uh, while at Emmanuel that I, uh, I knew that, that I was uh, being called to go back to Mexico to serve uh, my own people there. And I uh, was at Emmanuel the same two years that Moises came up from Mexico. And as I took missions courses and uh, heard mission speakers, I felt more and more called to missions. Uh, we served for about 14 years, uh, since 1980, 1986 until 2010, uh, with the North American Baptist Conference in the Mexico City area. Uh, in 2010, uh, that mission decided to close the field in Mexico. We felt that the Lord was calling us to continue in ministry in Mexico. So we had a chance to meet with Keith and Ruth Ann Elliott in Puebla and also with uh, Dan and Henry Chapel. Now at that point we felt that we that was a good uh, fit for us to be able to fit into a ministry team. Uh, so uh, at that point when we came back to Canada, we uh, decided to uh, apply to uh, EMCC World Partners uh, as missionaries going back to Mexico as they had a ministry happening in Puebla at that point. Our ministry in Mexico is going to be uh, leadership training, uh, working with uh, pastors from the uh, Missionary Church of Mexico, but also mentoring the pastors and caring for them as well. The reason why we're doing leadership training is because a number of the pastors who we will be working with um, haven't even had the opportunity to, say, finish their grade 8 education. And even more of them, even if they have had more education um, in, the, in the public school system, have not had the opportunity to do biblical training. So that's a really great need, uh, and this will allow them to be able to reach out to the people that they're working with, uh, with a stronger biblical foundation. Uh, wherever we are located, we're going to be uh, as well making friends and trying to start Bible studies uh, around our own community. So uh, uh, that's, that's part of our ministry as well. There's going to be three couples working together. Dan and Anne-Marie Chapel have already been serving in Mexico for 10 years. They were church planting and now they've been in leadership training. And uh, they have four boys. Um, and so we had three boys, so we feel right at home with them, as well as the other couple who are coming to join us, Phil and Carolyn English, are in the process of also of raising their support. A way that other people uh, can be participating with us in ministry, and probably the most important one is by prayer. And it is very important for us to, to know that there are many people in churches, uh, friends and individuals praying for us as we go back to Mexico. We know that the Lord calls some people to go, but also He calls some people to pray and to help uh, financial, financially as others need to, uh, to go to different countries. Uh, and also, just another way that people can participate in our ministry in Mexico is by going. Uh, some of our prayer partners and, and financial supporters from uh, uh, Canada can come and help us in ministry as, the need, uh, as we face some needs in Mexico, they would be able to come and, and be part of that ministry as well. As a family, we are grateful to the Lord just to be able to go back to Mexico. So we just want to praise the Lord and, and uh, thank, thank you to all our uh, supporters, individuals and churches that uh, have made a decision to partner with us. Uh, you are part of our ministry and we know that the Lord is going to do great things in Mexico. So thank you for praying for us and just for standing behind us financially as well.